Okay, so let's continue building out the site. Uh, as a quick review, here where we are so far, we have the logo, the name of the restaurant, and this kosher certified sign, and we have the logo disappearing when we squeeze the browser to be a little bit smaller, right around, I think, medium, a little bit below medium, right? So medium and large, the logo will show up, but the second it becomes less than medium, that is small, the logo will disappear. So the next thing we want to do, actually, is let's go back to our design document. And before we start coding the menu buttons that will show up in the header, these menu about awards and so on, let's go ahead and try to take care of the mobile view of our site where those menu items will not be there and they'll be collapsed. And what will be here is this button right here that will let us open up the navigation and choose one of the menu items. And the reason I want to jump straight to this is because our navbar header um, kind of includes everything that will be in, in the mobile view. So I want to kind of take care of it right now, since we already took care of these couple of things, I want to take care of this as well, so that we'll be on our way. Okay, so before we code it, let's take a glance at the Bootstrap documentation. And the Bootstrap documentation is really actually right here. And for us to really see that, that button, we would have to squeeze the browser ourselves. Let's squeeze about here, and let's kind of refresh it again to go to menu, or to the nav bar. And when we scroll down, we'll see that's the same example and all those menu now, all those menu items are now below. And when you click, they kind of show up. And here's the code that shows you the code in order to achieve that same effect. So we're going to go ahead and do that in our own code. Let's put the browser back to the max and we'll refresh that here. We already have our browser sync started. So what we need to do here is I have some code that I prepared and we need to paste it right in here where it'd be inside the navbar header. Note that I'm working in the after folder that's located inside of the lecture 31 folder. So let's go ahead and paste it right here. And here's that same code. This is the same code you saw on that website, on the Bootstrap documentation website. So let me go over what we're looking at right now. The first thing is the class navbar toggle. And that is the class that is actually controlling the positioning of this whole button. And if actually we go ahead and let's go ahead and let's copy that real quick. Let's look at it uh, in our Bootstrap uh, itself. Let's go search for it over there. Okay, so you see navbar toggle, and you see that the position is relative, and it's floating to the right. But if we keep looking for, oops, I messed that up. If we keep looking for navbar toggle, you'll see in a minute that at a certain media width, it will be display none. In other words, it will only display when it is less than, I believe, less than medium, or maybe it's small, or something like that. But it's all automatic. I don't really remember 100%, but you'll see that it will work. So the navbar toggle is basically giving us our positioning and kind of styling at the same time. Now, the collapse class actually does not exist in Bootstrap. If you take a look, and I will actually will search for, go ahead and let's search for collapsed, and you'll see that there's really nothing there. Now, so what is this collapse class doing? Well, what it's doing is signifying to a plugin, a Bootstrap plugin, that this button is in a collapsed state. That is, nobody's clicked on it yet, and once somebody clicks on it, this collapse class will go away. But all of that is done automatically by the Bootstrap plugin, the collapse plugin. And you can actually see the name of this uh, plugin right here under data toggle. Now, this data dash and this data dash are HTML5 API attributes that allow JavaScript plugins or JavaScript code in general to get at these attributes very, very easily in a standardized way. Now, if I actually take this collapsed uh, or collapse word and go to our, not CSS, but actually JavaScript, and we'll open up bootstrap.js, we can actually go ahead and search for collapse. And you'll see here there's a plugin called collapse, collapse.js. And that is actually what's taking care of that whole pulling the menu down and pulling it back up. But actually, to us, it doesn't make any difference. We're just users of this plugin, so we really don't need to know all of its gory details on the inside. Now, this area or aria expanded equals false, that is really for screen readers. And we're not really covering in this course screen reader specific attributes, but it's kind of got swept up in here because it is part of the documentation to put it here, and it's a good idea to leave it. Now, the rest of them are span, and that's really, again, for a screen reader to say toggle navigation. Those 
words toggle navigation will actually never show up. And it says here, as you can see, SR, screen reader only, uh, meaning this will not show up on the actual browser screen. And then we have three spans, icon bar, icon bar, icon bar, and all it's doing is putting those icons, those horizontal lines inside of our button. Let's go ahead and save that and go back to the browser and you don't see anything. Well, the reason you don't see anything is because our page isn't squeezed enough yet. So let's go ahead and squeeze and see if that button will show up. Bam, and that button shows up right around here, right? I don't know what, what that is in terms of the sizing. I guess we could find out real quick by opening that up. So it's around, it's around 700 something pixel, 768, 767 that this button show up. Now if you, you see it's uh, the hover works, but if you click it, nothing's actually going on yet. Well, the reason nothing is going on is because we haven't really enabled that behavior in our HTML and we haven't hooked up the JavaScript to it yet, but we will. And when we do, this data-target is gonna be very important because its value is collapsible nav, and that is totally a name that I made up, and that name is going to be used for an ID of an element that is going to be lower down, and it's going to include all of those navigation menus that will be kind of disappearing and collapsing and again expanding and so on. Okay, and I don't know if you noticed, but actually if we squeeze the browser again, you'll see it is that our button is not really styled to the rest of the site. It's kind of, you know, got the default bootstrap styles. And we're gonna not leave it alone like this. We're gonna fix that, but we're gonna do that in a different video.